Welcome back. So for now, we covered Tor browser and we covered using proxy with a combination of different tools such as opening browser like Firefox with proxy chains and running nmap scan with proxy chains. Right now, let's also see how we can install VPN inside of Cal Linux. Now, this is completely optional. You can choose whichever VPN you want. You don't have to install it and use it on Linux. You can use it on Windows, on Mac OS, and whichever VPN you choose, that's fine. For the purposes of this tutorial, we're going to take a look at using OpenVPN. So in order to run it in Cal Linux, we first of all must install it. And to install it, we run this command, sudo apt-get install openvpn. Press enter, it will ask for the password, and I have already downloaded this, but if you haven't, or if you don't have it in your Kali, run this command and in just a few seconds it should finish. As soon as that's done, we want to navigate to a certain website, and that website is called VPN book. Dot com. Type in vpnbook.com and it should open a page like this. And let me zoom this in just a little bit so we can see everything better. If we scroll down here, we are going to see different configuration files. It will say free open VPN. Choose your preferred VPN type below for access details. No registration or sign up is required. Since we installed OpenVPN, we want to click on OpenVPN and you pretty much want to download any of these files. I'm personally going to go with this one and I'm going to save this file. Click on OK and that's about it. Now don't close this page, you can minimize it, but before you do that, open this folder then minimize this page and you will notice that I already have the VPN file. That is because I already tested this out and all you want to do is right click on this and extract here. Now, once it extracts the file, it will create a folder like this, which when you open, you get the OVPN file types. And once these files are extracted, what you want to do is you want to navigate to this icon right here, click on VPN connections, and then add a VPN connection. Here you want to click on this arrow and it will open a bunch of different options, which you most likely might think that we want to go with OpenVPN since that is the one that we downloaded, but we actually want to import a saved VPN configuration. Click on that and click on create. It will open this window so it asks us to find the file where our VPN configuration is. We just downloaded it. Find the place where you downloaded it. It's probably going to be in the downloads directory. Navigate here and I'm going to choose VPN book TCP80. Double click on that. And now it will open the configuration window for the VPN. Now you will notice these fields right here, username and password. Now navigate back to the website that we downloaded the file from and down here you will have the username and the password. We want to type this in. So in the username field, I'm typing VPN book and the password is going to be the given password. Click on save. Now if I go back to this icon, click on VPN connections, I will have VPN book right here. I want to check it. It will take some time for it to finish. And you will notice that once you type I've config, you will get an extra interface with a different IP address. Now, what we also want to check is whether the IP address changed inside of our Firefox. Let's type in what is my IP. 
and this is the current IP address. The results are already in a different language, so we successfully changed the IP. And that is how you can install VPN in Cal Linux and use it to mask your identity and to mask your IP address to any source that you visit. But it is always a good combination to use sometimes Tor, sometimes different proxies and sometimes VPN. All of these things are well known and they will make you anonymous, but let's also take a look at whether we can find some additional tools on GitHub that might provide even more anonymity for us. See you in the next video.